Hey, how you doing? Fat Guy Flies RC here. Well, I want to come to y'all. Number one, I'm going to give you an updated hanger tour of my very serious illness that I have. Um, my addiction that I honestly, I don't want to be cured. I just want it to get worse. <laughs> um, a little update. I, a lot of y'all are expecting me to be presenting the yellow two meter uh, me flight carbon z uh, t28 well this isn't a joke i'm i have decided not to get it i even canceled my pre-order and there's several reasons but number one i've already seen a few people have a problems with the retracts that they claim were that issue was ironed out number two it's a $649 plane, and by the time you add tax and pay the base shipping, it's $700. Now, maybe I'd be willing to do that if I didn't already have a Carbon Z T28, the, white, the original white one, and then I bought the next edition one after I crashed that first one. So basically, I've already paid for two of them things. And they were 500 some odd dollars each anyways. And I bought two, plus another couple hundred dollars in parts. So I've got way over $1,200 wrapped up in a Carbon Z T28 as it is. And my present one flies beautifully, doesn't have, has zero things wrong with it. It's buying and flies, so I really, I just wanted that yellow one and I panicked. I thought, oh yeah, I gotta have it, hit the buy button and then, Started doing more research and realized I just don't think it's worth it. <laughs> not, not so, maybe if I didn't if I didn't have a carbon Z T28, then maybe I would. But I already have one. I've actually technically had two. Um, and to E Flight, come on guys, we all work hard for our money. Four hundred bucks should be your cap. Just my opinion. Four hundred dollars. You shouldn't pay, shouldn't charge anything more than $400 for any plane. I'm sorry. Make them, put all the smart tech, make them all down to, you know, 1.5 meters or below. The 400 bucks needs to be the cap. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just too much. Folks, I mean, you're, you're kind of E-flight. You're just, you're getting, I mean, let's face it. We're paying, paying 700, 700 bucks for a, a foam airplane. And I, yes, it's got all that tech, but you don't even take the time to paint. You paint the whole thing yellow, but then when the flaps come down, you get that white in there because you didn't paint that. $700 plane, $650 plane, and you couldn't even paint between the, the, the flaps. I mean, that's, that's pretty cheesy, you know. And people are starting to have problems with the retracts from what I have seen in some of these reviews. I don't have one. I'm just what's seen online. So... Uh, don't be in such a big hurry to put something into production and not thoroughly test it. Okay? Sorry. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's, I'm sure you haven't just heard it from me. Uh, other than that, it's a great flying plane. The original is a great flying plane. Okay. Off my high horse. Uh, but that's my reasoning for, for foregoing the T28 Carbon Z. Uh, if y'all were waiting to see a fat guy do it i'm sorry i just i just can't justify it i just can't justify the money i may get it someday maybe if i crash my you know my, my white one again but uh i just can't justify it i've got so much wrapped up in planes as it is i thought i'd never spend so much money like i did on draco but <laughs> i didn't already have a draco so let's do a tour all right i'm gonna take the hold on to your lunch now because i'm gonna undo the camera from its stand and we'll start over here that's the uh, fly zone sea wind there's a i don't remember what that thing is it don't fly anymore there's a shrek right or a shrike right there a bunch of plane boxes alligator skull a bunch of floats um there is my carbon z Cessna 150T, which I have all the stuff to make it into a tricycle gear again. There's my MiG-29, Cherokee upside down, 
uh, Widgeon, that uh, 1300 PA18, which is awesome. Turbo Timber, Evo, 3D Ultimate. There's the uh, FMS Pilatus there. Back in the back is the X-Fly Cirrus. Cirrus. There's the Tower of Hobbies ASW28, my Maul, the um, BF109 E-Flight. The Draco, of course, and his custom stand I've got up there. That's all PVC that I've made to hang the planes. Up there is the Banshee. There's the HSD Jets. Um, Cessna 182. Above here is the uh, Bighorn. Okay, we'll turn around. Sorry, there's the decathlon. I just and the video I just put out on the decathlon actually it was an older video. I just had it in my archive. There is the fuselage of the crashed um, original T28. There's my Duraflight Vampire, which I I may still fly it someday, but it's got so many issues. There's my uh, 1400 millimeter J3, little. Um, I don't even know what that thing's called anymore. I haven't flown the Condor from Value Hobby. There's the uh, Pits. And then over here, there's the uh, SU-27. The, I think that's what it is. Behind that is the, um, the Habu 50mm. There's the T3, T3, T33. The uh, little Viper, 50mm Viper. There's the crashed Vulcan. There's my wings, and um, for the for the Cessna 182, there's the wings for the 150. There's the uh, TA Red Hawk. There's the X-Fly A10. There's my Viper that I just got a new retrack in. I got to install a replacement retrack right behind it. Is the E-Flight A10. There's a Dancing wing stick. I got another one because the first one I put together and I sold it to a friend of mine had a garage fire and that's I had just sold that to him and he had the garage fire like two days later. So he lost it. Down there is the uh so I, I bought me another one because I sold that one to him. And uh right behind the A ten is the uh, Kingfisher or twin twin king. There's the J sixty five X Fly. There was my T twenty eight I told you all about with its wings back in the cubby. There's the FMS Easy Trainer in front of the AXN floater. A couple of uh, Delta Rays. Over here is, well, all my UMXs are up there in their boxes. Uh, there's a project plane. Planes hanging out in the rafters. There's my uh, Convergence that I still have never flown. I bought that for 50 bucks. At the club, it works. Everything's fine. I just have never flown it. I'm, I'm not a drone person, but I will give it a shot. There's my twin otter that I crashed, and the front nose gear is custom made, and because I couldn't, because of that, the few I couldn't buy a fuselage that worked for it. Um, there's my little T28. There's my Aero Scout that just runs an AR620. Um, there's the Hobby Zone. Uh, Super Cub, the original, but it's in a brushless. There's the old Dynam ME262 that had a horrible maiden. There's my Retail Rescue Beaver, the uh, Fly Zone Beaver. There is the Alpha Jet by X Fly. And, uh, of course, y'all know the Kingfisher. There's the FMS 1400 uh, millimeter P40. Behind it is my Avanti. You can see the bright colors, and then there, right there, is a Dynam BF 109. Uh, there is a E Flight Spitfire upside down, the RB7, the uh, Banana Flying Banana Dynam Ambulance Jet that <laughs> just a pile of crap. <laughs> Sorry, but it is my original Park Zone Sport Cub S2, which is about one of the best planes I've ever owned. Uh, Arrow's Hellcat. Uh, Dynam BF-109. Awesome flying plane. There's a Tidecraft. Fly Zone Tidecraft. Well, it's a 
knockoff version of it. There's the Fat Guy Flyer, which is actually our Aeros Trekker. The Cirrus, SR-22T. Excalibur with a uh, Neptune EDF on top of it. There's the uh, Carbon Cub S2. The Sus Stick. Okay. Uh, there's my e or my uh, Mini Apprentice with the uh, wings attached permanently. Uh, via a mod I made, there's my Arrows F86 hanging. Down here is my DH18 Bieber. Back there is a new Fly Fans um, K8 uh, Red Falcon. That's I bought the 6S version. I have yet to fly. That's a maiden. I, I sold my other one. There's a 4S Dolphin. Of course, my Valiant. Y'all recognize my Valiant. There's my uh, E-Flight Commander, the 1.2 meter um, Trojan there. There's my uh, fly, the, um, oh, what you call it, the Cermak Fantasy Flyer, my Apprentice STS, my Hobby King Tundra, the um, Hobby King Skipper, my uh, free wing Bayhawk, a, a BAE Hawk. Behind it is the Yak 130 free wing. Down there is the free wing F16. Down there is the L39 by free wing. Up there is the Tasman upside down. My new twin Nova that I just did the maiden video on it. And that's the second one, tw second twin Nova, second Tasman. Both of those I sold to that buddy of mine who lost most of his planes in a fire. And uh, so he's, he's rebuilding his planes. So I sell them. I've sold several planes to him, you know, at a greatly discounted price just so he can rebuild. Of course, there's my little yellow T-28, probably the only yellow one I'm going to own, my Habu, and my latest one that I hope to get a maiden in on soon, the FMS Ventura V3. And uh, I feel very confident about this plane. And I've got it all balanced out. CG out perfect. Runs on a 4000. She's, she's set up by the book. Which there's not much to the book. And uh, I'll be getting a maiden hopefully very soon. I <laughs> hope very soon. If I can just get some decent weather and decent wind. I don't want to crash a $400 plane. But there you go E-Flight. Right there is a uh, 399 plane with lights and retracts and performance and it's a great plane but they squeeze it into 399 so there you go and just a little rant about e-flight and why i'm not getting the uh, t28 two meter and um, there you go an updated hanger tour thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe god bless y'all and there is my here Land of Chaos Workbench. <laughs> Bye, y'all. God bless, and don't forget, say family and friends, and then planes. Hey, who's that guy on TV right there? Oh, man.